write these vectors in the diagrams in component form. So here we got a vector which is in magnitude and direction form. We're going to call this first vector u and the second one uh, v. Okay, in order to do this, we need to know a little bit of trigonometry. So you convert, making a right angle triangle here with the theta is the angle. So in this case, theta was 60. And this angle here is 90 degrees. We've got a right angle triangle. And we know from our tri trigonometry that this side is opposite the angle. This side is adjacent the angle. And this side is called the hypotenuse, the longest side of the right angle triangle. So the magnitude of the vector is, is actually the hypotenuse. Now from this, we can write a vector into what's known as component form. So the horizontal component, which is represented by this line here, we know that cos theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So the hypot uh, sorry, the adjacent, sorry, will be equal to the hypotenuse times the cos of the angle, just rearranging uh, this if so we would have to multiply by hypo hypo hypotenuse here and then the vertical uh, component which is this one so we know that sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse which would mean that the opposite is going to be equal to the hypotenuse times the sine of the angle so in order to find the uh, component form all you need to do is do 10 cos 60 and 10 sine 60 in the first example okay so looking at the first example we've got a magnitude of 10 and we got the direction with the horizontal axis being 60 if we draw that line in we get the right angled uh, triangle so the horizontal component is this one and we get that by just doing 10 cos 60 and the vertical component is this one. We get that by doing 10 sine 60 from these ideas over here. OK, so writing that out again. So u, the vector u, will be equal to the horizontal component, which is 10 cos 60. That's called the horizontal component. And then we write it as a uh, column vector. Or, or column vector so the uh, vertical component will be this one here 10 sine 60 so it's along the corridor up the stairs same idea this one first this this one second now working those values out on my calculator i'm going to get five for the first one and the second one will get uh, an exact answer so at this stage we just give our answer to three significant figures so it'll be 8.66 now, there's another way of writing a column vector, which is like this. We have 5i plus 8.66. i is like a unit vector in the horizontal direction, and j is a, a unit vector in the vertical direction. Um, what we mean by unit vector is a unit of one length so we've got five times i plus 8.66 times j and just a different way of writing it for v do a similar sort of thing but th this one the vectors are in a different quadrant so if this is the origin then anything going this way is going to be negative have a negative coordinate so this will be 8 cos 45 but it'll be minus 8 cos 45 because it's to the uh, left of the origin. And again, this is below the origin, the, the vertical component, so that will be 8 minus 8 sine 45. So don't forget the minus sign here. So writing out V, that will be minus 8 cos 45, horizontal component first, vertical component minus 8 sine 45. Working those out on a calculator and give them to 3 significant figures we're going to get minus 5.66 over minus uh, 5.66 again in writing it in this format that will be minus 5.66 i minus 5.66 j so this has been a video to show you how to convert a, a vector from what's known as magnitude direction form into component form i hope you've understood and i thank you very much for watching